Good afternoon students. This is SP Smart School Learning Program. The subject is chemistry and we are going to discuss in this video the effect of oxidation reduction in everyday life. So we see the effect of oxidation reaction in everyday life is corrosion. So what is the corrosion? The corrosion is the process of slowly eating away of metal in the presence of oxygen or air and moisture is called as corrosion. So, most common example is the rusting of iron. When iron come in contact with oxygen and water, what we get is hydrated ferric oxide. So, the grey color of the iron converts into reddish brown color. Similarly, when the copper comes in contact with the carbon dioxide, oxygen and water, what we get is copper carbonate, copper hydroxide. So, a coating of green color has been seen when copper comes in contact with the atmospheric air. Similarly, when silver comes in contact with hydrogen sulfide, silver sulfate is formed. So, the silver has a black color of coating after oxidation. So, these are some of the examples of oxidation. So, we will discuss the method to prevent the rusting. So, first method is by painting. By painting, we can prevent the rusting of iron. Second is by greasing. Third we have is by galvanization. So what is galvanization? A coating the surface of iron with the thin layer of zinc is called as galvanization. And the fourth method of prevention is by electroplating. So what we do in electroplating? It is the process of planting one metal into the another by hydrolysis most commonly used for the decoration and preventing corrosion next example what we see in day to day life for oxidation is rancidity so what is rancidity the oxidation of oils or fat in the food result into a bad smell and bad taste is called as rancidity. Now let us discuss the methods to prevent the rancidity. First method is by vacuuming. Vacuuming means evacuating air before sealing the food. Second we have is replacing the air by nitrogen so the bags of chips are flushed with the nitrogen to prevent them from oxidation next we have is the refrigeration of the food stuff so this is the very common method at home where we can prevent the food from oxidation and last we have is by adding the antioxidants antioxidants prevent oxidation of food the antioxidants slow down the process of oxidation of fats and oil in the food stuff 